Next on our list is Rock Castle Real Estate, which mm. is a entity which is listed on the JSE and headquartered and also listed, I think, in Mauritius. Mm. It's got a certain number of African investments, particularly in Zambia, in the form of some retail developments, but it's also expanding into the European market, European market central and eastern again, with some activities in Poland and in Czechia, I think. Is that right? Was that, what's the company country called? Well, the called? Czech Republic and some Slovakia and <laughs> I think Slovenia. And Let's get this <laughs> right because Eastern the European Czech countries. Republic is the country that's in the process of trying to shorten and revise its name. Mm. Anyway, Even Serbia, I think they might have something oh, looking okay. at Serbia. So anyway, you get the sense of the region <laughs> we're talking about. 32.9 billion rand. It's sizable. It's amazing how big mm. these companies are and a yield historically of 3.73. Give us some of the history and then also just give us this update on why, what the balance of assets Africa and elsewhere mm. will be. Sure, so, so that's an easy one. They've just about sold the African uh, properties okay. recently, focusing now on Eastern Europe. Uh, because Nepi did so well, then the resilient group said, wow, maybe investors want it and it works uh, in Romania. Uh, which other country can we look at? And they decided on Poland and some mm. other small Eastern European countries. So Rock Castle is looking at that opportunity. But because it's a long term opportunity, after they raised capital, also said, in the meantime, we'll park the, the capital in listed uh, uh, shares of other property companies and go long and short. It's almost like a listed hedge fund, a property, global yeah. property hedge fund. And over time, the exposure to listed shares will decrease and exposure to direct property in Poland and other Eastern European countries will increase. Mm -hmm. And they're busy with that shift. That is the strategy. And they've been buying things, existing malls. I saw, for example, the one in the Czech Republic has anchor tenants like Target. Is it Target? Yes. And other players. So like companies that are global players that have expanded into the Central European market. Platan is the thing in Poland and so on. So the management team under Spiro and Nussis has certainly mm. done this before. Did they have an involvement, some of them, in the uh, NEPI business and some of them have kind of split off into this management team? Yes, they, they've been part of the broadly resilient yeah. group and, and some involvement in NEPI. And at the moment, you mentioned how, how big these uh, market caps are of the companies like NEPI and Rock Castle, but on a global context, it's not that large. So yeah. I'm actually hoping to have these teams in the stable actually coming together. And I wouldn't mind if the likes of NEPI and Rock Castle and maybe even Green Bay Properties, which is the third the vehicle that, <laughs> exactly. yes, that invests and, and does some development in Eastern Europe. Uh, I think they're starting to step on each other's toes now. So I mm. think it'll, it'll be worthwhile at some point if these companies merge, you Possibly. get scale, mm. they get included in and indices. And there's a common shareholding, because if you look at the shareholding, Fortress, Resilient, Capital Group, they mm. have stakes in the funds themselves, which they obviously have at the beginning because they've sort of seeded them, right? Yes, so when companies are very entrepreneurial, you have multiple entry points, but at some point formalization with the benefit of increased scale yeah. is a positive, and I think we're getting to that point where they need to look at that. Uh, Rock Castle will continue investing in Poland and these other smaller European, Eastern European countries. Uh, they might combine then with some other countries to become a, a, a really proper co uh, property company of Eastern but Europe. But again, the shareholders of this thing are mostly here in South Africa, yes. having had the original capital raising, and whenever they do a capital raising through the issue of new shares, then that comes back to the space and the contribution Correct. goes in. Okay, how are you feeling about this one, valuation-wise? Did we look at the share chart? Yeah, Not there yet. it is. There it is. So once again, very strong historically, a little bit of a wobble in the last month or so. Um, I, I do want to see some corporate action and they are trading under caution, so hopefully that's indication that something will happen. Mm. And therefore, I'll once again say hot. Hot. Hot, yes. Hot. Okay. I'm going to once again say not hot. I'm just scared of this overall group.